tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you Photoshop CC 2014. Same basic approach can be used in earlier versions as well, PC or Mac. Now, I've got to warp a custom shape. Now there's of course a number of ways you could do this. You could use the direct selection tool, that's a nice way. But I'm just going to go to, I've got shape here. So I'm just going to delete that first and it shows the creation of the shape. So just go there, custom shape tool, shape. So it's a shape layer, that's the key thing and I'm going to set it fill color. Now I've got the shapes here. Uh, these ones are graphic extra shapes, are lattice shapes. You can find lots and lots of shapes on the site, graphic extra site. And obviously it will work with other custom shapes as well. So you don't have to just use those. Right, select that. So that's the shape like, it can be any size, so you can just drag that there. So once that's done, just go to edit and transform paths and warp. Now, once you've actually got that, you've got this grid, got this lovely little sorry you can actually click anywhere so this thing even though it gives the illusion of sort of that you can actually really only the warping is on the on the line it can be just warped anywhere so you can you can go there you can see these lovely little anchor points you can drag there but you can just click in the center and distort happily as well as well as clicking on the line so you can just click on line now if you go outside you'll get that lovely it won't let you do that Pity actually, but anyway, you can't. So you have to click within the actual grid. So you can distort the shape, like really crunch it in. And now this is a vector, it's still a vector design. So you can, so if you do that now, do all those, but you can also, of course, you've got these presets. Now, if you actually select one of these presets and you then turn around and say, well, okay, I've got the preset and I want to go back, you can't just go straight to custom, you have to go to none. So you can go back to none and then custom and you'll get this grid back again. So I say if you're actually using say on these presets, and I'm just going to this preset, now try and do the same sort of thing, go online, it won't let you. It just basically that's that's that. You're actually fixed with the thing. You've got different settings of course, you can do the bend and H horizontal, distort and all those sort of things. And you've got quite, obviously quite a few little presets. But I'm just going to go back now to none and then back to custom to get that grid again and again like I say you can just now just distort this in thousands of different ways really crunch that in squeeze sort of vector design and it virtually makes most of these dots actually virtually disappear so right there's that design now one feature unfortunately is, would be really nice and something that's really weird they've never added and that would be a, a save feature be nice to obviously be able to uh, actually save this to your preset list For some weird reason you can't don't know why okay so you can say click OK at that point so now you can go to edit and define custom shape now sometimes the define custom shape in the edit menu is not available if it's not available and for whatever reason I've never understood exactly the points some of the points maybe not selected so you can select all the points there and then just go to edit and define custom shape. You can now save that custom shape. So you can just save it and you can just, obviously I'll just get rid of that now and just go to custom shape tool and you'll see it in the thing there. So you've got the custom shape. And of course, once you've actually got that, you can then go to edit and transform path again and warp and you can do the same. Now it'd be very hard to actually <laughs> probably pull that out and try and actually unravel that shape It'd be very tricky maybe it's possible but I don't think so but anyway let's say you can distort that and create even more distorted shapes and crunch that in click OK and so you've got that custom shape of course now with the latest version of Photoshop Photoshop CC 2014 you can save that to a library you can then obviously use it in Illustrator just quickly use it in Illustrator or you could of course use the copy command and paste it in into Illustrator if you want to do that. I hope you found this tutorial of interest.